In this video, I want to show you how the Sermon Manager and Sermon Builder work to bring all the tools to help you write sermons in Logos Bible software. On the screen here, this is the Sermon Manager. It can be found under the Tools section. I used to use spreadsheets to keep tracks of sermons, and we have a lot of information on this page, but it's pretty easy. We have the week. If you have multiple sermons within the week, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, small group, Sunday school, you're able to keep track of all the information in the week. You have the date that the actual sermon is preached on. You have the title of the sermon, passages, if you're in a liturgical context, the liturgical day, season, uh, who spoke, who preached, which is helpful if you have a preaching team, the series, and you can add and take out as much information as you need. So let's say we don't want to see the liturgical information at all. Um, you can take that information out of there. So this is so helpful to keep track of what you preach. And up here under this year, you can say, I only need to see the next six months. I'm not a preacher, so I don't have this information filled out. But when I did preach, I would have my next six months out. Or you can say, what did I preach in 2021, 2020, all those sorts of things. Not only, let me show you all, not only can you filter it out like that, but when you click here, you're going to get all the information related to your sermon. The series, this is why it's important to tag your sermons with the information over here or within the Sermon Builder, which I'll show you in just a moment. But when you click on a sermon, the information about that sermon is going to populate. When you add information over here into this sermon information panel, it's automatically going to show up in the filter panel. So you can filter by service. You can filter by series, what time you preached, uh, topics. You can filter out by books of the Bible to get a sense of how often you preached in a book or who the preacher was. Very helpful to have this information. Let's say you bought Logos for the first time and you say, well, how do I begin? How do I add sermons from the sermon manager? You can, you know, I've got a sermon section here. You can just open up a new sermon and create a sermon document. If you do create a sermon, um, it will automatically go into the sermon manager. Everything is automatic and easy with Logos Bible software. But let's say you just started and you've got no sermons. How do you add sermons? And Logos is better than just adding one sermon at a time. It lets you add for as many times as you need. So let's come up here to this section here, and there's several things. One is Logos is going to let you save templates to, um, to the software. So if you have a certain kind of sermon, so I've got a couple templates, graveside, wedding, but also when I click on blank sermon, I can add, we'll say we're going to do a seven-week series. I want to start at the next empty date. And so what this is saying is that we're going to add seven blank sermons starting at the next Sunday available in our calendar. When I click add, all those uh, sermons are automatically created. Let me go up here to series and we'll say God is love is the series. When I added that, all those, uh, that series is um, updated to God is love and all those are selected. And it's as easy as selecting like you would anything on a computer with shift a and getting in them all everything is going to be uh, highlighted and then you're able to add that information very very helpful and then look at what happens when we have this uh, series in a seven week series we have the week grid we also have a view called the radio view which is going to let you see remember we're at the next six months you could say next 12 months or um, you can have all that information however you change it up here We'll change this radial view, but this is just the next six months, September to February. That series we just created is right here within um, the uh, radial view. I love this feature. What this is going to let you do is see at a quick glance if you have any gaps within your preaching. It's going to let you visualize also how your calendar is made. So that's one way that we can do it. I want to show you. And I absolutely love this feature for those of you who preach with lectionaries, a lectionary series is up here. When we go to blank sermon, again, we could add this sermon. We can go down here to the lectionary. And if you're if you have a lectionary in your library, it's going to show up here. I've got the ACNA, the 2019 
our church, we use the 1979 Book of Common Prayer. When I click on it, now it's not a blank sermon. It's the Book of Common Prayer 79 Sunday Lectionary. When I choose a season, now we're in, I know we're after Pentecost. We're in common time. So that's for our current time. And this is an example. If you just bought Logos, what do you do? I click after Pentecost, Sundays only. You could change that if, if you preach more than just Sunday. But when I click add, Logos adds all those sermons for um, for the time period for right now for common time. And look at what happens when we go here. We're going to add the liturgical season. We're going to add the liturgical day. Let's do it one more so that you can see how it's going to change. So we want to go now. We're thinking about our Advent sermon series. We're going to click on Advent for Book of Common Prayer, 1979. Sundays and Sunday only sermon. When I click add, look at that. It tells you the Sunday and Advent. It tells you the season. It tells you the liturgical day. And not only that, let me uh, highlight one of these sermons. We'll just use this next one as an example. September 5th, 5th through 11th. Over here in the passage section, it automatically puts your uh, passages from that lectionary in your passage. So when you click on one of these, it's going to open up. When you click on the title, it actually opens up the sermon builder, which is the sermon document. It has those passages right there. And you could change the title of this. So you could say, God is love. And you could say our heading, first heading is Jesus came to save you. And we'll even say, John. Well, I'll just use one of the passages. I'll say Psalms 146. Look what happens when I press return. It automatically brings that information to you and it automatically creates sermon slides. Let's go back to the sermon manager so you can see how this works because we um, updated the title to God is love instead of the proper, I believe it was proper 18. Look down here. Now, I've already got a sermon in my uh, sermon manager called God is love from previously, but that's why it has the number two here, but the information is automatically changed. So hopefully this helps. If you have never thought about getting Logos before and you're a preacher, this is a great feature that is going to save you time and it's going to keep track of your sermons for years to come. Uh, so I, I just can't, I get blown away by this feature. And all we did was add um, a couple clicks. In fact, let's go to the next season so we can add that in so everybody can see it one more time. Year C, we're going to say the Christmas season, going to add it. Now it's added those Christmas uh, ser series sermons to it. And all I have to do is click on the title and it's going to open up and we could change the title. Just say Christmas. Go back to the sermon manager and it automatically changes it the title to Christmas. Hopefully this helps. If um, if you're not using the sermon manager, I encourage you to do so. It will save you time and uh, make your understanding of your preaching calendar so much more efficient. Until next time, God bless.